What is up, YouTube? This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater, and I am out here on a project that we completed a few months back, and you guys loved it. Well, I never was able to do an ending to this particular project because we had a couple bad seats, but this was top to bottom a very, very well done theater. And it used one of your favorite brands, the Klipsch lineup, and in particular, the reference premiere through the whole entire system. This is a 7.2.4. I mean, this room, whenever uh, we came in, it was just basically a shell. Um, customer had put in risers, carpeting, pillars, uh, acoustic treatments, wiring, trim. I mean, the whole nine yards, it turned out absolutely awesome. And it sounds even better. I'm going to give you a demo here in a minute. Uh, but first, I just wanted to thank everybody. We really appreciate all your support and your orders. Um, it's absolutely, honestly overwhelming, but we are growing and uh, we are gonna continue to deliver that awesome customer service to you guys and keep these videos coming. So if you're not already a subscriber, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and we're gonna keep it on coming. All right, Gray, Grayson is in the room with me. Hey guys. <laughs> He's going to be uh, walking around with me um, and we're going to take off the speaker grills, which the customer did paint and they look sweet. Let me show you what we got. So um, behind all of these speakers or behind all of these nice clean grills that blend in with the walls, we have speakers. So you can see this the is the 180s. Uh, this is the 160. 160. So we got the, uh, the Klipsch Pro 160 RPWs. And we're using those for our surrounds and you can see we got those right there at ear level perfect config and then here over here we have the surround left and then the back of the room i mean literally you can't even see these things they just blend right into the wall it looks awesome we have our rear left and rear right you want to show them that one over there gray and they also did some acoustic treatment on all the walls yep uh, acoustic carpeting acoustic carpeting yep and as far as the rest of the speaker system goes, uh, we have a couple SPL 150s, one here at the rear of the room, and then one here at the front of the room. This will give really nice dispersion throughout the space. And I mean, this rocks the whole house. It sounds yeah. really good. Um, then here at the front of the room, we have our three front, left, right, and center speakers. So beautiful. These are 250 LCRs? Yep, these are the Pro 250 RPW LCR. All the, the Pro series and yep. all the uh, reference, reference premiere. premiere. Yep, uh, same thing over here. Front left and the front right's the same. We won't show you guys all of them. But we went ahead and went with the uh, smaller woofers for better clarity since we have these monster woofers here. And uh, this system really does sound awesome. Now, if you guys haven't seen the full installation video of this room, make sure to check it out. It's super interesting. You guys will love it. Uh, now, overhead, uh, we also have our Atmos speakers, which you can see the customer painted as Barely well. See them. Yeah, I don't know if you can or not, but. Yeah, right there we have one, and right here we have one. And if you guys look, I mean, we're lined up right over our target seating area. There you go, you can see it from this angle here. Right here. Uh, perfect configuration. I mean, whenever we play that uh, Dolby Atmos demo and the uh, spaceship comes ripping over your head, you literally just feel it <laughs> right over your head. It sounds sweet. Uh, now, uh, let's talk about the projection a little bit, guys. We are using the Sony 695. Yeah. Uh, this is a native 4K projector, and the 695 is not the most expensive Sony out. It's the mid-grade. Um, it's a 10 grand MSRP. Yep. Great value projector. Beautiful image. Very nice imaging. It's, it's really designed for a dedicated movie room, though. Not a high lumen output, as you can see. Our even though we do have the beautiful 160 inch screen innovation slate zero edge pro model up here it's still washing out a little bit because of the light output but if we did not have that screen you would not be able to see your imaging at all uh this is the slate 1.2 yeah. and you can see if you lower down your overhead head your overhead lights 
And Gra Grayson is going to show us how to do it from your handy dandy universal remote. So we actually set this up to where every single light in the room can be controlled right here from the customers. See, we even have movie lights. Yep. Brings that down to a cinema like feel. Yeah, so this is about right for watching a movie. You know, if you're going to come up here and you want to watch a movie, you still want the LEDs on for a nice, cool vibe. You can see we got the overhead LED, LED up in, in the uh, crown up there looking really sharp. Um, and then you have it on the back of the screen. You can always go in and even tone that down a little bit or turn it off like Grayson just did. Uh, so it's, it's kind of one of those things that just is cool but you, you may or may not want it on when you're actually yeah. viewing your, your content, depending on the situation. And we got the lights all controlled on Lutron, all down to even the step lights. Every single one can be controlled separately. Yeah, I'm not sure if I showed you guys that, but we got step lights in so that you don't trip and fall. And you wanna go ahead and power it back up for us, Gray? So you can do it in increments or you can do it all at one time. You uh, can or see. we can turn them all, all the way on. And we even have our little bar light back here. Yeah, customer hasn't finished this out yet, but you can put your drinks back here. Nice little uh, area. And then you got USB outlets, small stuff like that. Uh, now this is the rack. Strong FS series, you guys see us use this all the time. It's a nice low rack. There's also an audio, uh, or not audio, there's a uh, exhaust uh, output out of there that'll actually pull the heat off of the unit. Do you wanna walk them through, Greg, yeah. exactly what you have in this rack? We have Yamaha separates. Uh, you have your phone on you? Yeah. So this is the Avantage series, the CX-A5200 processor. Mm -hmm. So whenever you're doing higher end setups, guys, you you want to have AB, AB separates uh, because the processor is going to be better as well as the uh, power rating is going to be higher. Uh, it's going to deliver more juice to your system. We have our Watt box search projector with the light kit, preamp. Yep. Down here, we believe we have a Sony. UVP 1000. Yep, and the new model is out now. It's the 1100. Yep. If you guys want that, and then we have the uh, uh, Pioneer, the LX 502, I think it is or something. Yeah. That we have up there. True 4K. Yep. Cable for watching your football and whatnot. And all these sensors are for the universal control, remote control. Then we have a whole another watt box for the whole s second part of the rack. Here's your power processor. This is an 11 channel, the MX A5200. It's a great uh, separate, great power amp. Yeah. I use it uh, pretty frequently and uh, I'm very impressed. And we're using balance XLRs on all this. <laughs> cool, and uh, down here you guys can't really see as much but we have the Xbox One here. We also have a Roku Ultra and an Apple TV 4K. And then we have a network switch to keep all of this net, uh, stuff on the network and at maximum speeds. Lutron Cassetta, a Harmony hub, and then he has a media server here, a little uh, rather big computer um, that he's using at for Flex. And that's, that's about it. That's about it for the rack right yeah, there. This is the strong FS series. And again, guys, if you're interested in like uh, more about how this project was done, make sure to check out the full video because this is just a recap and a demo. So um, I think that's about it for this space here. Um, yeah. It was a lot of work, uh, but it, uh, it looks awesome, sounds awesome. We're gonna go ahead and play you guys a demo. Yeah. So let's go ahead and get it fired up. Fired up. Yeah, they're up there. Precisely move in any direction within this theater. 
shelter the sound sweeps from the back. It's all the way in front. Arcs overhead. Almost anywhere in between. That demo was sweet. I hope you guys liked it. We're gonna go ahead and do one more. Let's go. We are moving on to the next segment of this demo, and that is the video side. We're going to do that awesome 8K Peru video that you see us play all the time. Nothing will make a system shine like this video here. It is being streamed. It's not, um, so you got some compression there, but um, it still looks pretty sharp. We got a 695 and a Slate 1 2 SI screen. Let's do it. All right, so this is with the lights on. Hit it, Gray. Button time. Business time. Should we turn all the lights on? Yeah, kill the LEDs. Let's go the screen. Kill the LEDs too. Awesome. Yeah. I'll have to say at this Beautiful. price point, you know, 695 and a Slate 1 2, can't really go wrong. Yeah. It's beautiful imaging. Um, off axis as well as dead center. I mean, it, it looks fantastic and uh, sounds even better. I'm super happy with the setup. I know the customer is. He's raving, <laughs> telling all his friends, telling me we got 10,000 theaters we got to do, <laughs> <laughs> uh, which is good. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, YouTube, you guys are absolutely amazing, and we're gonna keep these videos coming for you guys. Yeah, uh, yeah, you know the the support of, on the uh, you know comments and social side is amazing, as well as uh, your purchases. I mean, we're actually creating partnerships to help get our uh, lead time down on those sales calls. We really appreciate all the orders that you guys are putting in, and I know you're patiently waiting to hear back from us. We're doing the best that we can, and here very shortly. I'm gonna be releasing a video about our plans to deal with that. So um, I, I really do uh, appreciate you guys. Yeah. Now, if you like the video, you like Grayson, <laughs> you like <Exactly>. me, <laughs> you like this awesome theater room. We like it. <laughs> make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Share it, Share it. comment. Tell your friends. And most importantly, hit that subscribe Just button down it. below, guys. Uh, and until next time. Until next time. This is Zach and Grayson with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank Thanks you for watching. For watching. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and if you were wondering, Grayson has reminded us that you guys always ask about the dimensions of the room. This room is 20 by 20 with a slanted entranceway for y'all curious of the acoustics in the room. Yeah. <laughs> I, I read the comments. <laughs> if you didn't know, now, now you, you know. know. <laughs>